So this is my car and you can see I've added some graphics to it. Uh, not too crazy, just a bit subtle. Uh, but basically I'm pretty happy with how it turned out. I did it all myself. Uh, so bought some stickers from somewhere online, uh, added like my YouTube address and so on. And I'm particularly impressed by um, the big YouTube uh, bits that I've got over here because I kind of cut it out and added it and it kind of works around where the door goes as well. So um, I suppose the next thing I need to do is I guess kind of rebadge my car. So a few years ago I took off the normal Audi stuff, added a black Audi sign. But what I'm going to do now is basically debadge this and add on my own thing. So if I just uh, open the boot there, um, in here, um, by the way I'm just in the woods at the moment, uh, it's just quite nice to work somewhere a bit different. Um, I'm going to sit in my car and do some work on my laptop soon. But basically this is the thing that I've got. So this is my logo, uh, it's a Feynman diagram and uh, I got this 3D printed by a friend, uh, a DT teacher. So what I'm going to be doing is taking this one off and adding this in its place to kind of basically go a bit over the top and just kind of rebrand the car of my logo. Um, so if you're uh, maybe learning to drive at the moment, maybe you're driving your mum's car, maybe you're, uh, you've got your first car, you want to make it uh, look a little bit special, you can debadge it. Uh, so I'm going to show you how I'm going to do that. Now the first step is really I need to remove this thing here. And uh, often these things, they're not... Um, they're basically just kind of stuck onto the car with some kind of really solid tape. Uh, the one that I've got on this one here, I've actually cut out myself. So I added this on, this is like some 3G, uh, sorry, 3M uh, sticky pads. So I kind of cut these to shape uh, the other day, just added it onto this thing here. This thing here as well, um, it was 3D printed. What I then did to kind of make it look a bit smooth was I sanded it down and just spray painted it black. So hopefully that's gonna last. Um, so the first thing I'm gonna do is add some special stuff to get rid, uh, to get rid of um, this logo here. So to dissolve away the glue, I've got a solvent. Uh, this stuff here, um, I think I found in Halfords, it's called Sticky Stuff Remover. Uh, it removes sticky stuff. Um, it's absolutely amazing. So what I'm gonna do um, is just basically spray it on the logo. So if you want to do this yourself, this is like your how-to guide. Um, it's quite sort of like runny, like a gel. So if I just spray that on liberally over there, what I can hopefully do is allow this to kind of get uh, just behind where the logo is. Um, it can work away. And as a solvent, uh, it's gonna kind of start to break away the adhesive. Now, I'm just gonna leave this. It's a bit cold at the moment. So we've just had Storm Dennis come through, um, pretty wet and stuff, it's quite cold. So I'm gonna leave it for maybe half an hour, uh, sit, in my work, uh, sit in my car, do a bit of work, and I'm gonna come back out in half an hour's time and see if this has started to dissolve that away. So I left it for about uh, 20 minutes just to see how it's going. Um, if I pull it, if I just get my fingers in there and pull it. Oh, uh, that's starting to come off. So you can see uh, maybe it's slightly working. Um, it's not coming off as easy as I hoped. I mean, it is a bit cold. So what I might do is just uh, jam my fingers in there. Not quite going. So I might spray a bit more um, sticky stuff remover on it um, and then just leave it for a bit longer and have a proper go uh, maybe in about another 20 minutes time okay another 20 minutes later um, it's definitely working it's definitely coming off a bit but it's actually quite hard um, what I found in my car is this thing for scraping ice off I'm gonna use this because it's got a nice plastic thing on it so that means hopefully it won't scratch the paintwork and if I just pry this under um, I guess you know a bit of physics here using it as a lever so we're um, this is like a force multiplier so we apply a big force uh, sorry small force at a big distance means that we have a big force acting at a small distance so if I just get that under there I'm just going to prise it open okay this, uh, we'll get there and uh, there we go, that's the last bit removed. Now all of this stuff here is pretty uh, sticky. You can see though that it is coming off with that kind of sticky stuff remover. Uh, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna spray it again and leave it for another half hour and then I can actually finally uh, make uh, get rid of all of this sticky stuff on the car. So that's been working for about 20 minutes now. Um, hopefully now, if I just rub this, it starts to take all of that adhesive stuff off um, and actually, it's working you know there's certain things where you need to have a kind of chemical treatment um, 
that solvent has dissolved all of that adhesive and if I just keep rubbing that off there we go fully debadged God, this car looks quite good like that uh, but what I'm going to do now is just um, just do a quick kind of polish of the surface so it's completely nice and clean I've got some tea cut uh, kind of just kind of metal like kind of car polish so I'll just give it a quick uh, once over with that and then we can apply the uh, the new logo so I've now cleaned the surface here I've just uh, given it a quick uh, polish up and what I'm going to do now is just uh, quickly take off the uh, the backing tape on this and then what I can do then is just apply it in the right place so just making sure I've got it the correct way up and it's going to line it up with sort of the middle of the um, the wiper blade at the back and then that looks pretty good because it is slightly up at one side if I just stick that down there um, there we go that was quite easy so let me just make sure that's firmly in position um, the back of the car is slightly curved it's not completely flat shape but I did have this by the heater inside the car to kind of make it a bit more flexible and it's pretty strong oh, my fingers look horrible from whatever I've got on it before this uh, this kind of polish and stuff but there we go that's the last bit uh, added my logo to the car I guess at some point I've got to uh, repaint this this is from getting bikes in and out and stuff like that um, but there we go, this video had nothing to do with the physics that I'm doing um, apart from the fact that uh, obviously you can see that I am living the physics dream at the moment uh, constantly making stuff for you guys so if you want to make sure you subscribe on YouTube and also have a look at my websites for everything you need uh, for GCSE and A-level physics um, and if you want to debadge your car um, yeah, I definitely recommend this stuff here, sticky stuff remover uh, make it look a bit cleaner, uh, you know, pimp your ride Anyway, thank you very much for watching and goodbye.